Hey guys, how's it going? Astro Manny here, back at it again, and we are making another video, and today, I just wanted to talk about this thing, alright? Can we talk about the alien ship's quantum drives? How amazing is this green quantum drive? How amazing is this ship here? This is the Banner Defender. I wanted to talk about the Banner Defender, okay? I just wanted to highlight it real quick because I've just been having a blast trying out new ships lately and the Banner Defender is one to talk about. It is a monster, guys, okay? It's got four size three hardpoints, which means it's as good as a Saber's firepower or a Scorpius firepower and it's got the same amount of shields as a Scorpius, so therefore it's better than the Saber on defense, but just the same as the Saber on defense, but it doesn't have that extra gunner pilot, and it's not a heavy fighter like the Scorpius, so it moves quicker, and it's faster, and it's got the size of four guns. It doesn't have as many missiles as the Saber, but man, this thing's a monster, okay? Oh, hello there, Pico. How are we doing? <laughs> so I wanted to show this off a little bit, um, just a tad bit, okay? So this is the inside of the ship right here is the stairs and that drops down as the front of the ship right there uh, this is just a quick showcase of it I'm not gonna like I'll do an official showcase of this in the future at some point but here look it's got a bed over here and it's got a bed over here this is the interior that's it it's kind of bland in the interior but it's cool looking look at that oh and again say hello to Pico Pico's having a wonderful day I hope you guys are having a wonderful day leave a like for Pico Leave a comment for Pico, subscribe for Pico, because this is the special SPK Pico and he's rare. Look at him, he's a beautiful little fella right there, he's so beautiful. Alright guys, smash that, oh sorry, Pico wants you to smash that bell for alert so you know when I go live and all that, so, you know, all hail Pico, right? Anyways, so look, it's got right here, the pilot co-pilot seat on the right, right? This has two pilot seats, one on the left and one on the right. Look at that. Kind of fancy, wouldn't you think? Honestly, I don't know what you can do in the co-pilot seat. We'll have to try that out in a future video or something, or, or in a future live stream or something. It's also got this little thing in the back here. It says locked. I'm not exactly sure what's up with that, because you can't unlock that. Maybe it's a feature that's going to be in the game in the future. Oh, and it's got gun racks, guys. Look, at it. it's got one gun rack here and one gun rack there. So one gun per pilot, that's pretty cool. One bed per pilot, pretty cool. It's a pretty cool nifty little ship. I like it, we're gonna fly it, and we're gonna do, of course, the VHRT test, and we're gonna go kill some Reclaimers. Hopefully, maybe, I don't know. But anyways, that's the ship. Uh, I'll show you some other fancy things about it later. Actually, we'll just show them off real quick. Um, just real quick. In the light of the of Crusader here. Uh, if you do your landing gear, it turns into a crab, right? I mean, it's already a crab, but that's what it looks like when it has its landing gear. We'll land at some point, so we'll show that off on the landing. But that's a neat little transformation when you go from landing gear to non-landing gear. And look at look 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 at this ship. Look at this ship. It's it's cool. It's cool. So it comes with some fancy tachyon um, cannons for stock. But those are supposed to have splash damage and currently don't do very much damage. So we took them off for these M5A laser cannons because we're going to do some bounties and we need some unlimited ammo firepower. So we've gone for four size three laser cannons. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to go do the VHRT test right now. And we'll talk a little bit more about this bad boy itself. I do have it suited up with all the meta needs. It's got the FR-76 shield, because it's a size 2 shield. One size 2 shield, right? So we got that in the bag. So we got the, the mission started as well. Uh, here, I'm going to show something off, guys. This is what I wanted to talk about. Okay, this is one of the things I wanted to highlight before we start the mission. Before we start the mission. Okay, well, check this out. Look at my fuel gauge, okay? I flew the Microtech and back on one tank and this has a size one quantum drive this ship is a small enough ship it's a it it's it's classified as a light fighter but it's is a medium fighter okay let's get real it's a medium fighter okay and it has a size one quantum drive guys size one quantum drive i flew to microtech and back 
on one tank, okay, and I do not have the Atlas in, okay? I have the best quantum drive in the game for speed, the VK00. Let me check, let me show you guys. I don't do this very often, but we're gonna, we're gonna show this to you guys here. Look, check this out. Uh, this is not the one I wanted. This is the one I wanted, right? The power one. Items, okay. So I got the JS300 power plants, right? You could check out on your FD's screens here. Look, I'll show you. This is the the power. No, sorry. Well, you can see it in the power too, can't you? You can't. Okay, it is the power one, all right? It's the power one. And thanks for the interruption, security guard. Uh, I'm doing a video here. Please come to an immediate halt. The only thing on the vessel is Pico, sir. Please leave us alone. Okay. I'll continue what I was saying. JS-300s. Those are my power plants. Right? Two of them. Okay. The, these polars are the um, the coolers, and those are unnecessarily... Like, you don't need to upgrade those. Yes, sir? I know. Me and Pico are, are free to go. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a wonderful day, sir. Thanks for the interruption on my video. Anyways, so we got the M5A cannons here four of them right then the FR 76 like I said this is the size 2 shield and here it is the VK 00 quantum drive okay this is as far as my knowledge I'm gonna have to check out other ships this is just thrusters don't mind those the VK 00 quantum drive okay this is the fastest quantum drive in the game to my knowledge it is faster than the XL1 most ships do not run the VK00 that are size 1 quantum drive ships because their fuel tank is so low. But this ship right here's fuel tank is humongous. It can go from Microtech and back on one fuel tank in a VK00, which is a monster fast uh, trip. Like you are going the max is over the two it's like 280 something, like 280 something thousand, right? per second or whatever it is but it's wow it's crazy guys it's crazy so I'm gonna set up my my screens here for my combat I got my shields over there you know and my target screen over there and then we'll even throw the self target over here so that's how I like to set up my screens but that quantum drive on this thing is ridiculous okay that is cool I don't know if there's any other small ships that can do that but that is cool, okay? All right, we're going to Daymar first. To start off, we're going to Daymar. I just wanted to talk about that. That and the green quantum drive. This, this thing's quantum drive. If you need to get around the verse fast, this is the ship for you. This ship will get you around faster than any other ship. And it's got a long tank. It's got a big tank. It's, 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 it's a monster. So let's go check this guy out in combat. Again, he's kind of a light, quick little go-getter. And he's got four size... Four size three hard points. Like, that's amazing. So let's go check this out. We're going to Brios. <laughs> We're going to Brios for our fight. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Here we go. Going to Brios. Let's we'll see how this ends up. So it's quick. Oh my god, the quantum drive's playing with me here. Come on. Come on. Alright. But yeah, the quantum drive is quick. The, the ship is quick. Let's go test it and check it out, alright? I got a message here. Okay. All good. The girlfriend had messaged me on the phone, had to check it out. Anyways. So you could run gimbals, that's an option. Uh, you could run ballistics, I guess that's an option. It, but you would have to, you know, recharge your ammo and stuff. Mm -hmm. But here we are. We're gonna, need, and you could use repeaters. So you could use for PVP. You could run three Panthers in PVP, and this thing's a monster in PVP. Don't sleep on the Banu Defender. It's got quick movement, and it's got a size two shield. So watch out for the Banu Defender. It's kind, it's cool. It's cool. It's a nice little side pick man it's it's something it's nothing to sleep on it's nothing to sleep on this little bug is nothing to sleep on oh have i mentioned how fast it goes in atmosphere this thing goes ridiculously fast in atmosphere well let's make sure that we set our flares to three at a time 
Uh, it looks like our target is a Vanguard Warden. What else do we have around here? A Valkyrie and a Hurricane. Shall we kill the Hurricane or shall we just kill our Valkyrie Warden in... Is it the Valkyrie that's our target or is it the Warden that's the target? It's the Valkyrie that's the target. Shall we kill... Let's... Let's... Let's see. Let's... Let's fight the... So there's the missiles. They go off. Let's let out our missiles. We only got a few missiles on this thing. It's not giving me the option to let out the missile. That's fine. We'll fight. So here we go. On to the hurricane. Look at that. Look at that barrage of monsters there. We didn't land any hits up, but that's because they're cannons and, and we suck. <laughs> we suck with non gable cannons. And we're taking deeps. That's okay though. We'll back out. We'll re we'll readjust. I was caught up in, in talking and stuff. We'll readjust our situation. You do have to realize you are in size two shield so that they do charge a little bit slower as you see there in the bottom right. It takes a little bit of a recharge to get those back. Alexa, stop. Guys, my mac and cheese is done. <laughs> My mac and cheese is done, guys. All right, so here we are. Because my mac and cheese is done, I think we're going to go for the target. <laughs> All right, so what is this? The Valkyrie, right? Man, he's surrounded by a lot of people. Let's see what we can do. Guys, the mac and cheese is done. <laughs> work on this boy up and around getting some hits in oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah we're definitely tearing this man up now we're definitely tearing this man up look at those hits get up nice close and personal look at that beautiful hits hold it steady there it is Target destroyed. That was a boom. All right, we're gonna go ahead and, like I said, we're gonna go to the next target. The mac and cheese is in the oven and it's done, guys. You gotta get the mac and cheese ready. <laughs> so, uh, full disclosure: this video should have been done, and the mac and cheese would be ready for me later. And this video should have been done already. But I was trying to take a, I was trying to make a video, and I was gonna put Pico in the video, and I kept forgetting to put Pico in the ship. I kept forgetting to put Pico on the ship, guys. I'm sorry. So, we had some technical difficulties, and that's why the mac and cheese is in the video. But hey, I don't, and we're also having technical difficulties getting this quantum to work. It's really not working. That's annoying. We're going to have to uh, set to. Oh, goodness. We're taking deeps. We can't get the quantum to work. There's probably a hurricane on our back. There we go. Got it to work. That was annoying. So again, if the, if the quantum doesn't work, you know, you might have to do some things like uh, set your cruise control on and jump to your map to get the target work to work. You know. So apologize for not cleaning up the whole crew there. The mac and cheese is in the oven and it's waiting for me. But we'll clean up some of the crews. Like if there's a reclaimer, we'll fight the reclaimer. So don't worry about that. We'll, we'll fight a reclaimer if we see a reclaimer. I might have to take a quick jump to the kitchen to turn off the oven. That's what I'm probably going to have to do. It's good right now. I wanted, a, I wanted it to go a little bit over the timer. So it's perfect at the moment. But in a minute, I'm going to have to go and uh, turn it off. So probably after this kill. But man, this ship, VHRTs, no problem. We'll take it. It's a it's it's a small little nifty fighter. This is a beautiful choice for VHRTs. Okay, there are other great choices. Uh, I did a lot of testing on my live stream the other day, 
and found out a way to just do things in my Reliant and just be a monster in my Reliant. So Reliant is always a great choice and it will always have the firepower to do what it needs. You just need to move things around a little bit and, and get a little fancy. So here we are coming up on our next targets. We have a Valkyrie, we have a Valkyrie, and we have a Valkyrie, and we have a Valkyrie. I don't know if those are all that I different Valkyries or if it really is all just Valkyries. It looks like it really is just all Valkyries. Be aware we are on yellow, on the surface of yellow, on the sunny side, so it's going to be hard to fire that pip where you want it to go. Oh, there's really just four Valkyries. Oh, wait. Guys, is that more than four Valkyries? I don't know. Like I said, we're in a nifty little quick ship, so we're going to just get around and get behind. Actually, we're going to get underneath. We're going to get underneath this here, Valkyrie. Oh, not to mention, the Banner Defender has a beautiful radar. Like, this radar is fantastic. So we took a little bit of damage. We're going to go power to shields here. Make sure just we get back up to full shields. And then we're going to boost to underneath. If you're ever fighting on Yella and you're on the light side, get underneath them. If you're underneath them, you can see your pit. Or you could just get a reshader mod, but I, I'm not about that. There's a lot of enemies here. They are, they are just teaming up and making it hard. So we're going to actually disengage completely, get them to chase us. So if they're grouped up like this, we got to bait them out. So we're going to go up, up, and have them chase us and bait them out a bit. Maybe we would have went. Maybe we went too far. But I think we got a couple to chase us. See, it's really hard to tell right now because again we're on yellow and yellow's bright. Um, but we're gonna go back in with our power to thrusters. See, there's a Valkyrie over there. So I think we did split them up a little bit. There's a Valkyrie over there. Coming in really hot. Again, we're gonna get below the guy. Low the guy, and we're just gonna unload on him here. I want to get below. I want to get below. We are at a base, by the way, like a, a bunker. So we got to be aware of that as well. Okay. I'm going power to shields. Maybe we can get some shield regen here a little bit while we're moving really quickly. We are getting some shield regen. That's nice. Make sure we tag him a few times and make sure he doesn't get his shields back. Back power to weapons. And we're just going to do a little orbit around him now. We're just going to do a little orbit around him. So we're much faster than he is, so we're just going to do an orbit around him. Putting in lots of damage here, but lots of damage here. We're taking lots of damage, but we're putting in lots of damage. And we're out. We're out. We're out. We're out. We're out. We're out. We took lots of damage. But we did lots of damage to him. Power to shields. You know, you gotta put in a little bit of work. We're actually gonna throw some missiles at him. I forgot we had missiles. So we'll do that. Get a hard lock there. Throw two missiles at the guy. Shields are up, so we're going to go back to thrusters to get our thrusters up. There we go. We put in some work. There we go. Staying on thrusters, staying on thrusters. We want to get underneath him so we can see the pip. Underneath him, there's the pip. There it is. And we're just going to do orbits around him. Just going to do orbits around him. Just orbit around him. Try to get underneath him. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is, and boom! Target destroyed. Again, you can take out all the escorts if you want. Don't have to. If you're going efficiently, obviously you don't want to. If you're having a lot of fun and the point is to just kill everything, then kill everything. It's your choice. How you play the game is how you want to play the game. Uh, I have mac and cheese in the oven that I want to eat while it's hot, so I chose to kill just the Valkyrie. This last one will probably kill everyone. I'm going to run and go turn off the oven. Be right back, guys. Okay, ladies.
ladies and gents, the oven is off. I am back, and we hadn't even made it to selling yet. I would call that efficient, right? I'm going to switch my power to shields now. Get our target location. There's not even anything there to compete with it. Why is it being a pain in the butt? Come on. Thank you. Well done. So, what do you guys think about the Banner Defender? I really actually, this is my first time actually trying it in VHRTs. Actually, this is my first time using it in general. I just used it to fly around a bit last night and the day before and things like that. So I really haven't used it in combat. This is my first combat test on it. Okay, and let me tell you, it is impressive because it is fast. It is fast. And I can just orbit the enemies and just take them out. It, is, it has been tremendous. This is a beautiful ship, guys. If you've never tried the Banner Defender, you gotta try it out. A lot of the alien ships don't disappoint. Okay, we have Alien Week coming up soon. Now, I don't recommend buying alien ships with real money because they're overly priced. But, if you have the spare money to buy them in-game, go ahead and pick up a Banner Defender, guys. It is, it is, it is a ship. It shoots things. Pew, 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 right? I don't know. You tell me. You guys tell me, all right? What do you think of the Banner Defender? What do we got here? A Warden. And a Reclaimer. And the Reclaimer is the target. So we're going to clear out the Escorts first. No Hurricane. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to take out the guy who comes at us first. I mean, obviously the Reclaimer is going to come at us. But... We're going to ignore the Reclaimer for now. We're going to dodge some missiles. Easy peasy. The game seems to be running quite well right now. I have no idea what the server FPS is, but it definitely seems to be doing well. So they're coming at us. We're going to go to missiles. We're going to go ahead and take out a Warden. I don't know. Maybe we'll take out the Valkyrie. I've seen that I don't, I don't have issues with Wardens at all, but they can be dangerous because they have a lot of DPS. Again, we're going to just do a ring around the rosy here and get them to come and spread out a little bit and then plus we want to throw some missiles at them so make sure you're rotating your powers around i'm going to throw in two missiles at this here valkyrie switch back up to our thrusters so we can get that going back to shields back to shields and here's going to be the real fun one here we go. Let's get right up on this Valkyrie, show them who is boss. Back to thrusters, because we it seems that this thing has small tanks on thrusters. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that. It does have small tanks on thrusters. But look how quick this thing is. We just zoomed around him. We're just gonna orbit around him, and he's not gonna be able to do anything about it. A little bit of lag there, a little bit of lag there. Look at that. We're just gonna orbit right around him. Orbit right around him. Start those side thrusters. We're going to just side thruster around him. Yeah. Why side thrusters? I don't know. Why not? Make sure that we stay stay strong. Stay strong. Stay strong. Stay strong. We took a lot of damage. I think the warden came behind us and just laid into our back shields. Or maybe it was even the reclaimer. Who knows? Either way, we did lose some shields there. So we readjust. Readjust and no problems. Back to thrusters, so we stay strong on thrusters. Give it a little bit of thrusters. Dodge some missiles. Back to weapons to make sure the weapons recharge. Back to thrusters, because we want to make sure that our thrusters are heavy. Or full. Heavy, but yeah, sure. Look at that. Look at the beautiful sounds this ship makes, too. When we talk about how amazing this ship is, we're just going to casually take out all the guards here and leave this poor reclaimer helpless. That's what we're going to do. Look at that. We're just we're just pounding this guy. He can't he can't hang with us. He can't hang with us. He just can't. Look at that. Holding and it's for something for some reason on this ship, I can hold that pip like so well. Like that pip, I'm just on it. I don't know what it is with this ship, but I'm just 
on it with that pit. So now we're going to go take out a warden, just so they just don't bother us. It seems like the wardens have kind of done their warden thing. They kind of, some, for some reason, just go off on their own. And Yeah. I really love the radar on this ship, too, because look how I could just, like, see easily what's going on. So we overshot him a little bit, but it's okay, because we're moving quick. He's actually moving quick. We want to get in on him, and, and then it should be pretty easy. I think he's asleep. The wardens tend to sleep. But we'll take it. He's going to wake up when we're, while we're firing at him, so... There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I could just hold the pip on this thing for some reason. I don't know what it is. Just keep empowered a weapon so that we can recharge. Because we got lucky in this warden to sleep. It, it just seems that the wardens always end up sleeping. I don't know what it is about that. <laughs> We're tearing this guy alive. <laughs> we tore that guy alive. Ah, it's too hard to shoot without a without seeing. <laughs> But we tore that guy a new one. Shall we? Oh, and the other warden see? The wardens fell asleep. I don't know what it is. But now it's just us and the reclaimer? Or no, maybe that was the Valkyrie that blew up down there. Is that the other warden that shot ass? Okay. So we're going to go take out this guy and then we'll finish off the reclaimer. Just fly up in here. Our relative speed to them is pretty good. As you see that, it's under 100. You always want to keep your relative speed to your target pretty low so that your bullets will land. That's something that a lot of people don't pay attention to too much, but you got to have that relative speed. That's more important than how fast you're going. If your relative speed is low, then you're going to land. If your relative speed is high, you're not going to land. Obviously, you want to be close to them, too. The closer you are, when you're within 800, you're going to land more shots. See? Now he's just kind of falling asleep. I don't know what's going on with these wardens. But look at that. He turned around, and man, did he, did he hurt. Did he hurt there? He just put in one. That's size 5 on his nose. Oh, man. These wardens can hurt him. So make sure you put power to shields. Get your shields back. He's looking at me again. Look at that. Don't want him to look at me. Don't look at me, sir. Okay, so now we're underneath him. Get around him. Get around him. Up and above. Down below. There we go. Putting the shots in. Staying power to weapon so that we can pressure him. And he's falling asleep again. But it's okay. We like it. There it goes. Target destroyed. Okay. Now let's finish off our dear old friend, the Reclaimer. And let's see how the Banu handles it. So we're just going to get in position. We're going to go to power to boosters so that we can have power to boosters. And we're already behind him. Did he hit us there? He tagged us. That was funny. All right. Power to boosters here. We need to get up on him. Throw in a little boosters. Up around. And then just get underneath them and get up close and personal underneath them. That's what I like to do. Watch the relative speed. Don't want to get that too high to smash into them. Don't want that happening. He's starting to pull away from us. He's starting to pull away from us. So we're going to give us a little bit of boost to get up on him. He's he's flying. Dude, that, that ship should come apart with how fast he's going. Okay, so here we are. We're in the midst of things. We're right up on him. We're actually going to throw on our limiter here so we don't go too fast. And we're just going to sit here and pound him in the back and see how long it takes. When you're this close, you don't even really need to use the pip. See, we're within 300 of them. We don't need to use the pip. We know that we're making contact and hitting him right where we want. Don't have to use the pip. Stay underneath his belly. And this is what I'm talking about. So. The Reclaimer here has other, it has other gunners, Shit. other turrets, but it only has the one gunner on top. Why is that? 
Why is that? You would think it would be fully crude, but it's not. But it's okay. We just, like I said, sit right underneath him. Play pew pew pews. We'll even go third person. Look at that. Look at that. It still takes a little bit because, you know, we are using size 3 cannons. They're not super big guns. They're okay size guns. It's the happy medium. Oh, he's trying to turn. Make sure you reorientate yourself with him. Reorientate yourself so that you're in the same position that you were before. So he's trying to reorientate, reorientate. So we're going to flip around like this so it's easier for us to get and go into third person so it's easier for us to orientate. It's a lot harder to reorientate when you're in third person. When you're in first person, you can do it quite well. There you go. Look at that. See? You don't even need to see where you're shooting because you know you got it under control. And that's the Banner Defender, guys. Uh, it does its job. It put in the work. It's time for some macaroni and cheese. <laughs> but before that, Let's go park at Port Alisar and show you how the parking works. Let's show that off a bit. So here we go, we're gonna go straight to OM3, which is right in front of us. I don't know why it's taking us to OM3. 70K in the bank, Banner Defender. Thank you very much. I, all in all guys, summary of this ship. I enjoyed that. That was awesome. Like. I wasn't worried about dying. I had firepower. I was quick. I don't see any reason to use anything other than this. It, it for 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 any. I mean, you don't only have you only have four missiles. Okay, so let's, let's let's talk about that. You only have four missiles. I'm not a missile guy, so that's okay with me. Some people might want more missiles, but it impressed me. This ship impressed me. And I hope it impressed you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Man, I need to get some new sticks. Anybody want to donate some new sticks? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So here we go. Showing up to port O in our crab machine. Crab people. Crab people. <laughs> Showing up in our Please brand new defender. Landing bay. Gotta love the green quantum drive. Gotta love the green everything on this ship. Lots of green. Makes it beautiful. So again, we'll we'll show this off here, guys. You press on the landing button, the default N key, and boom. Look at that transformation. Make sure again that we're going to the right landing pad. Well, how about a fancy landing, guys? With Pico on board, how about a fancy landing? How about a fancy landing? I'll give you guys a fancy landing. What Pico on board? We'll back up a little bit more so we can do some more fancy tricks. Whoop. Whoa, I pressed the flares button. My bad. I meant to press decouple. They're kind of the same button. They're not, they're not the same button, but on my sticks, they're close to each other. Anyways, it doesn't pitch very high or very strong, so, you know, it doesn't do backflips very well. But... There we are. Bam. It was nice. Nothing too fancy. But there you go. There's a beautiful landing. Turn off the engines. Turn off the engines, guys. Hit the repair button. We didn't take very much damage. Restock those missiles. Refuel the quantum and the hydrogen. Do the whole nine yards. And, oh, check it out. Check it out. There it is. How about this? How about this? Check this out. There it is. Look at that. Gorgeous. Fantastic. Beautiful ship, guys. If you've never checked out the Banu, the Banu Defender, the Banu Defender, check it out, guys. Uh, make sure we got to say goodbye to Pico here. So as we end this video, leave a comment down below for Pico. Tell him how much you love the Banu Defender and how much you love him. We love you so much, Pico. Thank you so much. Smash that like button for Pico. Smash that like button for me, guys. I, for me. Smash, smash the like button for me. I mean, I'm, I'm cool too, right? 
All right, guys. Uh, it was wonderful having you guys around again. We had a good time. And here, I'm going to give Pico a little bit of room. You know, got, got to put Pico in the shot. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below. Hit that bell for alerts so you know when I go live or whenever there's a video. But you know there's a video every single day. 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's there for you every single day. I got your back. Let's go explore the verse and become champions together. Together. Right, Pico? Together. All right. This is Astro Manny and Pico signing off. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And adios.